So Elizabeth Moss, Elizabeth Moss explains why she doesn't speak openly about being a Scientologist too often. It's really hard to talk about cults that you're in is the thing. Okay, so <laughs> she, you, you're right. The, and I you're know. both right. But the problem here is, is oh, that are you on this side there, too? there is some there is wisdom in what she's talking uh -huh. about here. Brett is on Brett is a cult sympathizer. Brett is, Brett is a oh, from my a goodness. business. You heard it here first. Breaking news. <laughs> from a business perspective, she's absolutely right. It, when you've got crazy cultish beliefs, maybe soften that so that the people who are sure. spending money look. If you're trying to recruit someone to join your cult, you don't come out and say we're a cult. She's not you talking say, about this. Buy our apples oh, from okay, our farm stands. Uh, she said, I don't want people to be distracted by something when they're watching me. I want them to be seeing the character. I want you brainwash you. I feel like you. when actors reveal too much of their lives, I'm watching something and going, oh, I know that she just broke up with that person or I know that she loves to do hot yoga or whatever it is. Yes. So she's just saying that like, she feels that if she talked openly about being a Scientologist, it's the same thing. It okay. I have the same beliefs from her work. I would want to know. I understand what you're saying. Does this apply to all things or is it just Scientology? Does she talk it, about her children? Does she talk about any if you are, To be fair, I know nothing about Elizabeth so like, Moss's if, I will buy this life. as like they put the most flashy thing in the headline, right? Because Scientology is a cult and we all want to talk about it, but we can't. I We're going to get a cease and desist letter from Scientology. I don't uh, care about Scientology. I, I'm sorry, I hope this we is, do. This is, the, this is what every single one of these weirdos who injects their political views and their and all that stuff into every interview they do could learn a yes. lesson from the wacko in the cult. I want right. to give her credit for that, but like, and I just don't know much about her. If this is applied, if this philosophy is applied completely and totally, she doesn't go out of her way to draw attention to all kinds of things yeah. about herself, then I'll buy it. But if she's saying it's just about Scientology, then I think it's to cover up Scientology. Right, yeah. The thing you're saying I is- I believe she's been specifically instructed to not yeah, talk about it. They like manage they how she talks about it, which is not fine, but- it, I just feel like we have to separate like that sentiment is true and good if we're applying it the way you want to but we should recognize that Scientology is a cult and Scientology doesn't want you to talk about it so I'm not surprised she said, that she it's doesn't not talk really about it. a closed off religion it's a place that's very open to like welcoming in somebody who wants to learn more about if they it. have lots like of money to give us cult. money yes yeah. so uh, didn't the founder of this religion write a book called How to Make Money Off of Inventing an Orig Religion? Uh, L. Ron Hubbard. I don't know. Uh, I, don't I mean, know. yes. Google it right yeah, now. So Elizabeth Moss is one of those celebrities who appears to be pretty normal. But then you remember she's a Scientologist. I could say that about any one of these uh, these uh, celebrities now that but are weirdly... then you weirdly, remember she's woke. Then, yeah, then you yeah. remember that they're weirdly... Then you remember that Thandie Newton I mean, who, who apologizes for being part... Uh, part of one race but not of another mm -hmm. like that's like they're all weirdos but i i, I would rather they keep their weirdoness to themselves so that they, if i'm going to watch what they're making that th th it doesn't cut like i'm saying purely from a business perspective the best thing you can do is keep your weirdness to yourself i agree with you scientology is still a cult yes it is and I, they're, they're all in a cult of some yeah. shape or form yeah. but yeah. I you're think, only allowed to call yeah, her cult a cult. There is a cultural cult in Hollywood that they would like to make more widespread. And, yeah. it's, you know, we all understand that. But I, I I, just think it's worth noting that, like, that can be true. And we can hold it up as, like, an act, as an interesting rule and something we wish more people did. While maybe realizing that the origins of the reasons why she chooses not to speak about this particular thing actually have less to do with... Uh, a philosophical worldview about like how, caring about art yes it's not necessarily about art and maybe about instruction she has been given yeah so it says uh, i don't want to come off as being cagey she explained if if you and i met just hanging out as friends i'm like an open book about it but she added i don't want people to be distracted by something when they're watching me this is a very simple advice I am not, I am not, I'm going to counterpoint you. In a I'm not giving, I'm not saying that it's good or bad. I'm saying that the best thing that they can do being public personalities where every one of these projects that they put out requires them to, if not get the, the benefit of the public, uh, the public opinion, especially in the, in the climate we live in now that you're automatically putting people off because you are from a different tax bracket <laughs> and you, and they all come across as disconnected from reality. The best thing that they can do is to, as appears nondescript as possible so that they judge the art ho hopefully as much on the art itself and not on who they are as a person now that could be considered a failing on our part to not be able to separate art from artists but i also have very little sympathy for the ones who don't at least try yeah i understand what you're saying 
for fun, let me pitch you something else. <laughs> Who is Scientology's most famous celebrity? Tom Cruise. Okay. Who got universally panned in this room the last time we talked about him? Tom Cruise. He is not the A-list celebrity he once I was. He know he, all, well, I, I wouldn't think about him as a Scientologist unless you bring it up. It it's, doesn't come across when he's on his movies. huge... Yeah, I think about it every time that he's Yeah, every time he's anywhere, it's what I think about. never comes to my mind. Also, he was a huge deal for Scientologists because he has status. And it's like, oh, st- if Tom Cruise is doing it, it can't be that bad. He seems so normal. Mm-hmm. He does these fun movies. I think Scientology is losing their celebrity status and that they need to cultivate new up-and-coming talents. She's a big deal right now. But it's also weird because she was raised in it. So it feels yes. like they planned it. It's also it's funny. It's like they have connections in the industry yeah. where they're based in the city where yeah. they're headquartered. Yes. It's, this yes. is also yes. this is yes. also one of those things where they talk about. Uh, sci- now, obviously, I'm assuming that uh, if Scientology has this grip or had this grip on Hollywood, it would have been behind the scenes grip because the list of celebrities that are Scientologists is not a who's who of the industry. There's Tom Cruise, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Moss, Giovanni Ribisi, and like. I think like Jenna on, Elf, John like, Travolta and John on it. Travolta, but I didn't know that. Like, I think I knew that. That's because I have always found Scientology to be off-putting, and so it is something that interests me. And I'll give you that. Like I notice it, but like I think that there are more than you realize. Who was that guy from that '70s show who had the aviators? Uh, I don't know, but I know that Laura Prepon, uh, Prepon, Prepon yeah. from that show was this, was, but is no longer. Danny Masterson. That's yes, what Danny up. Masterson. He, he is one, as far as I know. Like. I think it's more than you realize. The other part is like, we know, we can name 10 celebrities, let's say, who are in it. Think of all of the grips or the screenwriters or everyone else who has been yeah, connected they, they to could this. could be strategic. Like, there are people we hiding certain. Right. Think of everyone at an award show that, like, you don't know because they don't really get the screen attention that we think they Michael should. Michael Pena, Marisol Nichols, involved. Beck Hansen. I also, Beck, I love um, that she's gotten blowback for being a Scientologist because she's in The Handmaid's Tale. Yes, <laughs> that's, they, they talk about that because in the interview. they literally abuse people mm-hmm. and are so, oppressive. So is this one of these things that do we, should we look for them to be more open about who they are if we disagree with them? So that's easy now mm-hmm. because the majority opinion from the general public is that Scientology uh, is not a good thing or, or that it's a cult and that that should be taken as awareness. But when we're talking about um, woke ideology or uh, even just religion in general, you're not going to get the same pushback because they're looked at differently. Let me put it, it to you this way. I think that we want to live in a world where we could live independently and let our neighbors live as they want to. And as long as they don't impact our lives, we let them go because we believe in liberty and we believe in freedom, right? But I think when you let certain ideologies run rampant because you are like, well, I don't want to interfere with their freedom. If you don't say, look, you can live that way, but I'm going to say that I don't support it and I don't like it, then you are letting that continue to grow. Scientology is strange because it is so massive it has so much unchecked influence eight to and, 15 million members yes and it's um, wealthy it is a, a a very lucrative organization and we can't say anything because it's like well we don't want to be mean to people who have a religious belief that's different than us and i understand that but at the same time i don't have to say yeah she can be a scientologist she cannot talk about being a scientologist she could scream from the rooftops i mm-hmm. th- that's her right and i respect that but i am not going to pretend that I think being a Scientologist is a good thing the same way that certain woke markers of culture are things that I'm going to support. I think by not being open to the fact that we disagree about it is that's different from actually trying to stop someone from doing something, right? Mm -hmm. She can go be a Scientologist all day long. I'm not going to stop her, but I don't have to pretend that Scientology doesn't seem dangerous to me. Yes. I, I, I'm not saying that. I, I'm, I'm literally only speaking about the fact that uh, the ones who do keep quiet about it, I mean, that's how I would prefer most people are. Yeah, uh, do things. you think that uh, Scientology and wokeism inflict the same level of psychological abuse on people i haven't given that nearly enough thought to be able to to speak on that yeah. I, I just, it definitely could be argued yeah. i don't know so. i think it's just who knows to that extent it may be but also anything with influence that has a hold on the way people behave right like a religion would you know i think it's just worth being cautious about it and like i want to side with you i want to be like yeah i wish the things that she were saying like we could say them more widely i do think that there are people who like don't need to share their opinion especially 
when it has nothing to do with their field and they're really just trying to get you to convert to their way their worldview on the other hand i do feel like i i don't know if this is the most authentic reason for that then, that's all i'm saying then why is tom cruise given the leeway uh, if he is the considered the outright uh, weirdly behaving, He's the prince of Scientology. Uh, yeah, if, that, if that's who he is, yeah, uh, and he behaves weird, and and of course the the jumping on couches thing got uh, taken out of context. It was ridiculous. It's stupid. But he's been uh, loved, hated, loved again. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, when I think of him, I don't think of his religion. I don't. I do. Uh, I, don't, I do every I'm time. Saying. But I I I don't know if we were to go. It would be interesting to go and uh, um quiz or do like a, a survey right and say when you think of tom cruise what do you think of do you think of mission impossible do you think of risky business mm -hmm. do you think of his horrible remake of the mummy or do you think of scientology i would and i bet that. that if you if you ask them uh and you put it in a, on like a like a a b c d e list mm -hmm. uh scientology would be mentioned more if you put it on a list of things to choose from than if you just asked them outright with just his name saying, yeah what do you think of when you think of tom i would cruise? love i think this would be super fun to do if we could do like an online survey and be like okay what do you think of tom cruise and you could do it in like what is the list first thing you think versus of? then we go to like a crowded mall and do like man on the street interviews yeah. and be like hey can you name three things you know about tom cruise and they can either name all movies or they're like he's very short or like whatever and maybe this uh, is I, I bet feel... i really do think scientology would come up more than you realize yeah whether or not that is now separate from our scientology seems like not a good influence well i'm saying like, in, in most of the articles that i found when i was uh researching and looking all the stuff up was like was about Scient scientology losing its influence within hollywood it was interesting like to that the a -list celebrity star yeah. see how the, my conspiracy the Wikipedia theory page in? said that they look for celebrities who are either approaching or are past their prime mm. uh why past their prime means they have established like influence right and approaching means that like they their names in the press and when you google them and that's like oh and scientology they're scientologists and it makes it seem more regular that's my theory hmm. um i can't say for sure or but i just can't bag anybody who's in their prime i know that like uh and i recognize that lee remini is an enemy of scientology and they don't like her but when she has spoken out about it, I remember one thing she said was like, she famously left Scientology. And one of the things she said was like, she was close with uh, Jennifer Lopez, I think. And she was going to their wedding. And they, like the people that she knows through Scientology, like kind of, I don't know if the term is handler or what. They were like really wanting her to bring more Scientology and to like bring Jennifer Lopez <clears throat> to a Scientology center and get her involved. Like she's talked about how she felt pressure like that because Jennifer Lopez was a big deal. Like when you have influential members, it gives you influence by proxy, right? Yeah. Um, yes. If you read me that quote, I would totally support it. But because it comes from someone who I think is a part of a manipulative organization, I just feel like I have to take a little bit of self. Yeah, she's saying it with ulterior motives in mind because she is definitely instructed to like disseminate her ideology in a subtle way so it says uh the church of scientology operates special celebrity centers scientology policy governs at celebrity centers uh the one in los angeles paris and nashville uh that one of the major purposes of the celebrity center and its staff is to expand the number of celebrities in scientology just like uh, every religion yes uh another order describes a celebrity center center of public clearing division uh clearing divisions and its goal broad public uh broad public into scientology for celebrity dissemination this division is departments from planning celebrity events and routing the general public onto Scientology services as a result of celebrity involvement. So, uh, it, you know, it's very, very, very baked into Hollywood culture, being where they're located and all that stuff. But the idea that somebody just leaves it out, and, and of course you're saying, you're saying she is being told to say that by those people. Yeah, I'm saying- I can't confirm that. Yeah, uh, we don't, and, I, I, and we agree. Like, we like the message. Yeah. It's just that, like, I feel like I have to be wary of the source. Does that make sense? Well, you should always be. Uh, I'm saying, but that should be that. Should, that's my general position on everything mm -hmm. is to look at everything as if, you know, uh, if somebody's saying, like I said, if Elon Musk is saying something I like, I want to know why. Yeah so much stuff Me is being too. said uh, i don't go into something like this with closed eyes and i'm certainly not religious and i'm certainly not cult oriented so cult I, sympathizer. I, i'm looking for uh ideas that strike me as something worth uh talking about and to me the idea of 
keeping it out of your performance so that people judge you based on your performance seems like a good thing that more people in Hollywood of far different persuasions could take into mm -hmm. their mind if their goal is to actually make money and not spread ideology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's all I am saying well, when I talk about this. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.